everybody, how you doing? Chad, welcome back to the channel. Your gracious host. This, as you see, is a part two to the Jet Bandsaw that I recently did the unboxing and I was setting it all up. But there were some little things, some hiccups and such, that I couldn't proceed with using the bandsaw. Uh, so I told you guys, hey, we'll do part two, I'll get it all going. I got everything. I lost half the video somehow between the flash drives or doing something. I don't know. I've been so busy and just carried away with getting certain things going and videos and there was a couple of weeks where literally I filmed probably six videos in that week and that's just nuts on top of doing knives on top of doing stuff with the, fi the family and the kids and everything so suffice it to say the bandsaw is up and running and it's working great as well as uh, the, the blades and some other stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in some video footage of what I do have and then we're gonna get back to what I lost and I'll explain to you some of that. So let's travel back in time, shall we? <laughs> right, so anyhow, so now here we go. This is the other thing I wanted to show off is um, this from Chris. Um, now I'll leave information down below, links and stuff like that to the oil, Okay, so lube tube, what Chris was saying to me, it's basically like, a, it's just a wax, and you just push it out from the bottom here, kind of like you guys that remember uh, um, push-up pops and stuff like that. Wow, it actually smells kind of orangey. Wow, but it's just a wax. It's just a waxy substance. Now, I used to use wax all the time before, actually. Um, yeah, here's a, I was using candle. I was using old candle wax right here. It's just an old candle I had. You can see the holes in it from from where the wick used to be, right there. <laughs> but now this is the, the lube tube, and uh, just using for uh, the, the bands. So when I'm cutting metal. Now one of these, two of these is going to be wood. This is my this is my wood one right here. Now he called this a bimetal, but this is recommended for uh, doing wood as well. A really, really well built, aggressive blade for cutting into wood. And you'll see here the the name of the what it is uh, 40, M42 to buy metal blade, uh, Rotengen. Uh, so this is all this. Oh, by the way, right there, you got their address right there for LA Cutting Products and the phone number. So this is supposed to be really good. This is what Lennox re recommended for actually doing wood. Um, now here we have these two blades right here. And we have the Rotengen, uh, the M42 bimetal, you can see that, and uh, it's a half inch, half inch in uh, the 35, that's the thickness of the blade. And then this is a 1014, and that's a 14. Now the reason why I'm using a 1014 and a 14 is I am going to do a little bit of testing. I'm actually going to try to see which one of these might cut better when I go through my uh, steels, my CPM 154, my CPM D2, and then my CPM S35 VM. We were kind of on the fence. I think it was Chris's dad that recommended the 14, and Chris and I were both kind of like, well, you know what, 1014 seems to be what we normally go with. But his dad's got a lot of years of experience in it, so we got this one. I said, you know what, send me both, and we'll go from there. Now I got some uh, got a little envelope here. Let's see what this is. Something sent off to me, a little care package or something that feels heavy. Let's see what's in this. Let's see here. Okay, we got a bunch of business cards here, that's for sure. Okay, Chris. And let's see here, a bunch of SSW saw service, and then we got LA cutting products. We got a bunch of magnets here and a bunch of business cards. So this is the guy you want to get in touch with. Right there, you can give him a shout. They also have an eBay store. So you can go ahead and hit them up on eBay. Oh, let's see. Let me read this here. It says, uh, uh, just, oh, you didn't get my stickers. That's right. Okay, he's in, I was asking for some stickers, and he wanted me to get some stickers. So, Oh, and he's giving me a little... Chris gave me a little bio on the company. I didn't know much about the company at all, what he was doing on, but uh, I'm going to read this for you guys. So at least you kind of know what you're dealing with here. Hopefully you're straight enough. Um, so it says here, we're, we're a small family-owned business uh, with six employees. It's his father and his uh, mom. And um, let's see here else. we got our founders. And then uh, he got on board. 
and he's doing it. And let's see, he does uh, the like web-based stuff and uh, uh, the online stuff. He says, uh, let's see here, uh, all materials we stock and sell are either from Germany or here in the USA. We will never s stock any cheap Chinese materials as the quality is not to our standards. Right? Hey, eh? how about that? Um, so we currently stock around 500 different materials that we can weld to any custom specification. I didn't know that. That I didn't know. I know they had a ton of blades. And you just tell me a little bit about the shop. But they can make your blade for you, pretty much any length, I guess, uh, custom specs, and 500 different materials. That is nuts. He says, it included in my package here are the blades we discussed in the phone. The blades are our German material called Rotengen. Runtgen. Runtgen. That's how you say it. Runtgen. Runtgen. You got to say it really strong with like a beer in your hand. Runtgen. <laughs> uh, and we have been stocking this material for about 10 years. The Lennox Lube Tube is great for all applications and improves overall tool life and productivity when sawing. Drilling, milling, grinding threading and tapping works well on abrasives like sand uh, uh, belts and stuff hmm. hmm. I'm have to look into that maybe so uh, that's cool well thanks Chris I appreciate it um, I I'll, I'll, don't think I needed as many magnets I would have a sticker would have been nice but uh, I'll see we'll we'll try to get something on the bandsaw or something like that too until you get the stickers made we'll put these up you guys know I like to put stickers up in the shop supporting the companies I get stuff from and and uh, especially ones that I've been going to, like Chris, for now for a little while. So uh, enough babble. Let's get this stuff going and let's get this bandsaw up and running, shall we? Okay. So you got a little bit about the blades and the uh, stuff here. You know, this this as you see, I'm using it, uh, the Lennox uh, lube tube, and uh, the blades are working great. So I gotta say, it's been probably the better part of a month, month and a half since I did the first video, probably when this comes out, so it's always maybe two months now. Um, everything's working good. I'm still on the first blade. I haven't used those other blades yet. Uh, but getting to the, uh, one of the other issues I had was with the oil. Now this has a gearbox in it and you know I knew you can uh, change the speeds by going up the step pulleys by changing belts. Uh, you're, you take the belts and you, you move them up and down through the steps the step pulleys to, to gauge your speed but there's also a handle that you pull out and that actually uh, engages the belt drive more to increase or decrease your speeds well normally when I'm cutting my D2 uh, all the CPM metals that I'm using I pull the knob out they recommended using a certain type of gear oil and it was by Shell you couldn't I couldn't find a gear oil so I went through Amsoil which I'm a, a dealer for I don't sell it actively. I used it for our own consumption, but I've been using it for the better part of uh, you know eight or nine years now. I uh, really like it, so I went on Amsoil, found the oil I needed, I got it, and I got the bandsaw up and going because when they shipped it, they shipped it with virtually no oil. They ship it with everything else ready to rock and roll, you know, two blades, everything, but apparently they put oil in it maybe to test the gearbox or the motor, but then they drain the oil out. Maybe it's a shipping thing, I don't know. So I had to get oil. And they don't provide you oil. Now you think they, they could give you a, you know a couple of little pints or something of oil since you're buying a fifteen hundred sixteen hundred dollar bandsaw. They could probably throw that in the mix since they throw in blades, uh, which I didn't personally need because I had to get specialty blades for my steel. Uh, so you know there was that. Uh, but anyhow, so it worked out good. I got the the oil, got it up and running, and here it is. Um, it's working really nice. Uh, you know, another, you know, shout out there for LA Cutting Products. You know, if you need blades, you can talk with them and, uh, you know, they'll be able to help you quite a bit. But so far, I'm really liking it. I've been using the same blade for both my D2 steel as well as my, uh, you know, when I'm cutting Coco Bolo and my Carta and everything. And it's working great. I mean, it's got great teeth on it still. I can still feel them uh, both here at the face and on the sides. There we go. Maybe that's focusing. There we go. But the teeth are in really good shape still, and I've gone through a lot of uh, D2 steel. I had just gone, and um, I think I did uh, seven or eight uh, Rogues and Warriors. I uh, started cutting up some Montanas, and I did the 13 Jaspers. 
all on this blade right here. That is great. So really happy about it. So again, a big shout out to everybody over at LA Cutting Products. I'll put all their information down below in the description so you can look them up. Um, if you buy something from them, I'm not getting anything. I'm just helping them out because it's a family-owned business. Local here, and you guys know how I like to support the local companies both here in Washington State as well as the United States. So if you got a bandsaw and you're looking at information, you, you know maybe you're wanting to get on the fence, go ahead and do that. As well as, you know how I, I feel about the, um, the uh, Milwaukee here and its limitations? Um, I believe I was informed that they're actually going to come out with another blade for these and it's probably it's going to be a better blade than what I was getting so originally I was only able to get one type of blade for this to cut steel now they're going to be coming out with another one um, so that might be good for you guys that are looking to get into knife making uh, reach out to them over there and uh, again with the links down below reach out to them and ask them about the blades tell them about the steel and you might be able to um, you know help yourself out a little bit by going to one of these and again, look at that swag off road table because they make tables now for the Milwaukee, for all your Harbor Freight, for your all your northern tools. I think they got three or four table models. So every single company that makes a portable bandsaw, they have a table that'll fit it. So it might be something to think about if you don't think you're ready to go into one of these. Uh, so anyhow, guys, I do appreciate it. Hopefully this video comes out okay. Uh, like I said, I... I got so carried away. I'm in here right now. I got a, uh, um, I got a, a warrior that's uh, forming up right now in its sheath. And I just got done filming another video for a couple of rogues that I'm sending out. So I'm, I'm just trying to play catch up. And I got to thinking, you know what? I haven't released a video on the jet to let you guys know how I think about it and what's happening. So like I said, it's been a month, month and a half, two months, something like that when this video came out. It's uh, the middle of August 2018. And I'm liking it. So... They're expensive, uh, but I really think it might be worth it if you're really upping your game and, and whether it's fabrication or knife making or anything for your shop, I think this would be the way to go. Uh, only time will tell on how all the blades last and, and like I said in the, other, the previous uh, snippet, the different types of blades and everything, so we'll see how that goes. But anyhow guys, I do appreciate all the support. Thank you very much. YouTubers, Facebookers, Instagrammers, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so anyhow, I'm taking off. I got stuff to do. So you guys have a good one. Have a good summer. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.